podcasting. This is another episode of Bad Guys Spoken Podcast. Got your host, of course, Frank, host of course, Kenny, Brandon, and Travis. I thought you said your host, of course, Trent. No, 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 I said Kenny. I switched identities. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not feeling like myself. All right, so we're gonna start off like this: like this. Which chip is gonna be the one to last? Like, like in the, you know the variety pack. Which one's the one that uh, is gonna be like the last one? So we actually, got cl- classic Lay's, sour cream and onion Lay's, barbecue Lay's, Cheetos. The red bag of Doritos, blue bag of Doritos, and Fritos. Which one's the one that Fritos? Yeah, which you going Fritos? You said Cheetos? Cheetos is my second worst, but Fritos. Only is. mainly because there's like 30 in every pack. Like there's an unnecessary amount of Cheetos. So it's like You're right. That's that's why I like that. I was I'm gonna be between uh Sarkin is probably my least favorite one. Like, same. That must make your breath hot. <laughs> but I eat that before I eat Cheetos though. It's because it's of so many. If there's like two things of Cheetos, I wouldn't mind it. Like how degrees with the red Doritos and the purple, like there's always like two in there. I mean, let's say there's let's like just say there was ten of each. In there. Oh. Who do you think? Who's ten of each? Yeah. 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 It, it might still be. Let's say it's yeah. fair. But see, because like, because I'm gonna say it, it, it's either Cheetos or Classic Lay's. It might still be Cheetos. I don't know. Cheetos I'm going. I mean, it's, if they're all the same, I'm going. Am I the only one eating the fucking chips, or is this like a like a group setting? Because that that matters. Um, a lot of people like sour cream and onion. I, I don't fuck with them like that. So if it's just me, sour cream and onion is gonna be the last one. That's what makes okay. it. I'm, I'm gonna, Cheetos gonna be the last. But one. Okay. a group, it's probably gonna be Fritos. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah Fritos. I didn't think about Fritos too. I was going. Yeah. Fritos is like I'm. I'm Cause using it's classic, classic Lay's over classic Fritos every time. Not me. Every time. Actually, no classic Lay's. Yeah, not sour cream and onions. I'll, I'll eat Fritos for those. Yeah, me too. It'd be classic Lay's for me. Well, well, we're gonna say rest in peace to New Jack, DMX, and Paul Mooney. If we haven't already did that on the show, rest in peace to Mark Eaton too. He just died a couple hours ago. Two times defense player of the year. Next one, um, Travis Scott announces he's in an open relationship with Kylie Jenner. I saw that. I think they debunked that though. I don't know if that was true. Let's fact check it right now. This is what they say. I was like, cause I, I I saw somewhere that that they said it wasn't true. That that Kylie said it wasn't true. But I mean, if it is, probably makes a lot more sense. Honestly, I believe all that stuff. I believe all. I, yeah, stuff. I think most celebrity relationships are open or fake, so possibly. I'm only seeing open relationship. That's all I'm seeing. I don't think that's what the most is. Yeah, T- TMZ says. Uh, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott back together, but not exclusively. Yeah, let's say it's all up to you. Yeah. So, mm. I but well, so I don't believe in I, I don't believe celebrities oh, wait, are. Wait, 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 wait. Kylie Jenner hits out at claims she and Travis Scott are in an open relationship. So she so she said it as well. No, she says that it's she's slamming it, saying it's not true. Yeah, because the ones I see at the beginning. He said, you guys just really make up anything. I'm not discrediting anyone who is in an open relationship, but it's just careless and disrespectful to throw this narrative out there without knowing what's true. I'm about to say, yeah. I, 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 that's all I see is the open relationship one. Well, that's, this well, is from her Twitter and from her um, Instagram. Sounds like damage Twitter. control to me. <laughs> like, but yeah, I think I, 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 don't, I don't believe I don't, she, I don't think she would care. I don't believe in fucking slavery relationships in the first place. I really don't. I don't. I, I don't like two think. celebrity, or you're saying like any celebrity can't have a relationship? I would say about 95% of relationships, I feel like, is, is I mean, pr- pretty much like to get their name out there a little more. To okay, get, but, get people talking. So here's my, here's my question. Like, Kendrick Lamar is married to nobody. I believe, in, I believe in that. I'm talking about the ones that's like... Okay, that's what I'm asking. I was saying, like, if the only one two celebrities together... I'm saying two celebrities okay, together, that's... usually... Usually two big name ones. Like, yeah, I don't like believe those in those two, that. I could see, like... Not necessarily them doing it just to build their name. As far as never but like even if there are some other relationship, I feel like they're usually open. Just because like when you're like Travis Scott's always on the road, she's always on the road, they're busy. Like I doubt they're not gonna I doubt they're just gonna be like, Well, I'm faithful to my person all the time. They seem like Travis seems like that type of person that's like, I'm gonna mess with this girl right here. <laughs> He's like he doesn't care. I don't believe none of them niggas. <laughs> I don't. Like I said, I tell you about ninety percent of them, I don't believe it. You're saying you, you didn't believe more than Jaden? No. Not real. I mean, hey. <laughs> you see, they out here fucking up. I realized this week you got shades on. I'm about to put my shades on. <laughs> What's that? Not not he shaded up. Yeah. It was, I don't believe him. Next one is a 
This is this is a wild one. So a 20 year old Montana woman will spend 20 years in state custody after she broke into her ex boyfriend's house and forced him to have sex with her while holding a machete against his throat. Hold up, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she didn't even ask. She said what? She didn't just ask. She said you gonna do this? Put a machete in throat. I don't know what he's into that putting a machete up against his throat makes it that hard. I'm assuming he did. Not that because it made the news. Yeah, and then it said, um, so Samantha Mears will serve out her sentence in a psychiatric uh, institution. Mears broke, so basically, the story goes, she broke into the victim's apartment in, in the town of Great Falls while he was out, out at the gas station. When he returned, she jumped out from behind his bedroom door and came up behind him and placed a machete under his throat. Bitch, that boo. Just, just saying, after placing the machete under the victim's throat, Mears said that ordered him to get in the bed and take off his clothes. She then climbed on top of him, and the victim told police that he became aroused at the sight of his ex-girlfriend without underwear on. Then they had sex, but after he ejaculated, he tried to, he tried to push her off of him. At this point, she then bit him on the arm and continued and continue until he was flaccid. After the incident, the victim somehow managed to take several photos of Mears with the weapon in her hand, which were then later provided to police. In addition, the pair uh, argued, leading Mears to rip trimming off the wall and purposely peel on his bed. It wasn't until his sister returned home from work that he was able to escape. The prosecution hired a doctor as they uh, believe she was mentally unfit to stand trial for the crime. In an interview with police after her arrest, she told police that the sex she had with her ex was consensual, but the, but the officer interviewing her noted that Mears was not making any sense and would, uh, often ramble on, would often ramble on in her answers with information that did not even pertain to the question. So she's charged with sexual intercourse without consent, aggravated burglary, and criminal mischief. She appeared in court via video link from the uh, facility and was sentenced to 20 years in the custody of Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services. Not only that, but she is now a tier two sex offender and must undergo counseling as well as take all prescribed medicine. So what the fuck is sexual intercourse without consent? I think there's a word for that, right? We could have yep. narrowed that down to one word. Rape. Yep. Or sexual intercourse without <laughs> rape. It, sound, it sounds better. He yeah. raped or she raped him. Yeah. Like with a deadly weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Took that man's cheeks like that. should be attempted murder. Yeah. And it's uh armed robbery. Took that man's cheeks. <laughs> Cause he didn't want that. And kidnapping. Yeah. In his own he, he didn't try to give them kids up. Speaking of giving kids up. Uh, Black Ink Crew Caesar Emmanuel, um, his daughter and baby mom may, they have been calling him out on Instagram for abuse. His ex and his daughter have claimed that he was a negligent father before. He claims accusation was made after daughter called him the N word after being asked to complete her chores. <laughs> hey, if you don't that long, it's a nigga. I don't know who the fuck these people are. <laughs> I'm with you, so. I'm about to say, is that bald dude from Black Ink Crew? I don't watch the show. I just know what he looks like. That's yeah, bald, I don't. Still. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean. I guess do your chores. I don't know. <laughs> or you can call it your word. What a, what a quickness, too. All right, speaking of people just acting up, just being niggas. Kwame Brown. Uh, you, you know who's getting to that. So it started with, uh, if you don't know the story, Gilbert Arenas pretty much is on um, Stephen Jackson's podcast called Kwame Brown a Show Pony. And uh, at one point, Jeannie Buss was on there and she's a, I think she's a GM or her owner. She was talking about a two for one trade they did for Kwame Brown and uh, Mark Gasol for Paul Gasol. And they was like joking around. They was like, oh, so it was just one for one. Like they tried to act like Kwame Brown wasn't in, involved in the trade. Just being, just, just being disrespectful. Um, and they just kept picking on him for episodes. Um, Arena said, you know, he was a generational talent. Um, and then at that point, Kwame Brown just went off. He said, I think you guys need to focus and channel that uh, energy to some real problems. And Steven Jackson, maybe you can put that motherfucking blunt out and pull your pants up, pull your pants up on your ass and put that rag down, act like a grown ass man instead of a little ass boy. He also urged Barnes to get emotional help before turning his attention to arenas. He said, You the right you said you the right hand arm of them white boys. Nigga, you took millions out of my mouth, nigga. You the whitest black boy I've ever known. From a Gilbert Arenas. And Steve, he said when uh, Stephen A. Smith bullied him when he was a teenager and criticized his playing when he got in the league. And challenged, he challenged him to a fight and said, Stephen A., you bald forehead. He's called a nigga bald forehead. You bald forehead. Thinking you tough, talking about, oh, they can see, come see me. Well, meet me in Seattle where you can have mutual combat. 
It looked like you have a toupee on the front of your head. And Skip Bayless, thanks for the pass, I guess. I ain't getting no pass from your co-host when you letting this punk motherfucker talk about a teenager. I did dirty you talking about my mama's son like that, bitch. He's going in. What? what? I watched all these man, my man snapped. He called that nigga a bald forehead. Holly Brown is a school he was, shooter. He was fed up, but is, is there more? I mean, there's, I mean, it's just other things that he said just going in there, everybody pretty much. <laughs> it's just, just, just a whole bunch of other stuff. I like what discussing a little bit, but I don't think he's wrong, but I don't think he's right. I'm with you. What do you mean? On what part? If, I, you, if you if you push somebody enough, they're gonna retaliate. And that was for the entirety of his career, he was getting bullied. Like they were like, "You suck. You can't do this." Which, granted, they were critiquing his basketball skills. That's his job. His job is to critique a good or a bad basketball player. He was not a very good basketball player. At least, at least according to other, understand other, that. others around him, he wasn't as good. I understand so, that, but the thing is, for Kwame Brown, to the defense of Kwame Brown, I don't play anymore. I played back in the yeah, day. Why are y'all still bringing me up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's what I said. He's not wrong. Like, like uh, for Kwame Brown's side, I'm, I'm low-key on his side. And and he even because he, he 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 said it right like he was like like he talked to certain people and then Steven Jackson retaliated and made a video and, and he was like yeah like your life suck like you said all this stuff he's like, you know what it is like, like your life suck and he was like it's like you're proving my point he was like like the more you responded you're proving my point it goes beyond basketball you're not talking about my basketball skills anymore you're talking about my life like my life is good I made millions like he's like I'm doing good my life does not suck I'm doing great but so so so, 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 so at that point you 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 attacking my character you're not attacking how I play but. But the question is... I don't think Steve Hill is attacking him as a person. Is, is he actually Steve? a bus? Yes. Yes and no. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> and, and, and no, no, no. I, and, and I agree he's a bus, but I he's heard, I heard a question player. where the fact that he played for 13 years. He's been employed for 13 years. Yeah, it's, it's still a bus. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that's the thing. I was like, well, like what do y'all think about I don't think I want it, it's, not, it's not based off of your... It's potential versus reality. I know, but 13 years? But, but was that his potential? Was his potential to be a role player for 13 years? No, his potential was supposed to be you. You were, first, you were first pick. Exactly, so he's a bust. That's what I'm saying. And you're, not, and you, you're first round, you're the first, the, not first round, first pick, and you're not the superstar, you're a bust. That's I, unfortunate. That's just I, I don't think he was the yeah. biggest bust of all time, but he was definitely a bust. Who's yeah. the biggest bust of all time, man? In my opinion, Greg Anthony Bennett. I think Anthony Bennett's better than Greg Oden. Greg Oden just got injured a lot. He can't really help that. Like, but I think Anthony Bennett might be the worst first round pick I've ever seen. But going back to what just a circle, he back shouldn't even have been a first round pick. I mean, first yeah, first round. You pick. were talking about it's about the basketball skills or whatever. Like, obviously, the first set of people were just being dicks. But yeah. I'm pretty sure Stephen A. Smith and um, Shannon Sharp were brought into it because Kwame Brown did his thing, did the the video right, and then they reacted to the video like, yeah. oh, this is this is news now. This is what. Shannon Sharp doesn't just, like, Shannon and Skip, they don't, ju don't just do on-the-field stuff. They do anything that's relevant. Same with Stephen A. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, so, I mean, those are basically the same show on different networks, let's be yeah. real. And same you, you do something that's going to be relevant, and they're going to talk about it, and they're going to tell you you're acting a fool. Because that's who they are. Yeah. So you're getting, you're getting mad because they're react. You're, you're mad that they're mad that you're mad. Like, that's, that's what's happening. Well, say, everybody needs to grow up in this situation. Like, yeah, but like I said, for not all of it was that because they had to get them to that point. So they would, they, they were bringing that, they were bringing that out there. They were poking them for years. But that was when they were... And, and really, he had been way player, past right? it. I mean... I'm, I'm, not defending, I'm not defending the first three people that were it taking play. shots. I'm talking Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp. He played for 13 years, so... And he was drafted, like, 01. So it was like him and... Like, he played with Michael Jordan. That's a yeah. long, long time ago. So, like, Jordan and Kobe. That, that means he stopped early 2010s. And they've been talking about him since. Like, it's 2021 right now. That means they were still talking about this man for <laughs> seven, years. eight years past his... Yeah, I'm with you. So, 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 so like, y'all poke it. They're like, leave him alone. Like, I, there, there's yeah. other recent busts that y'all need to worry about. Like, that's like I said. I'm like, there was Anthony Bennett. There was Hashim to beat. He was drafted second. That nigga did him out to nothing. There's, there's plenty Marco of... Marco Milicic. Yeah, Darker Miller's just like, there's plenty of other people. We don't have to target uh -huh. him and him only. Like, yeah, Kwame Brown was a big one, but I, mainly I feel like he was a big buzz mainly because who he played with. Like, it's like, if he played alongside Kobe, he played alongside Jordan, you expect him to be something bigger. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, he, he, had, he, had big, he had big shoes to fill, like, coming. My, 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 I think you can't attack him for his personal life because 
I mean, I mean, as a basketball player, yeah, you were ass. I, I, but we're going to be real. You were ass. The only thing you were good at was you could lock up Shaq for some reason. I mean, because he did bring that part up. He was like, hey, can not anybody lock up Shaq like I could? I looked it up. I was like, hey, that nigga really was locking <laughs> Shaq up. Shaq could do shit that paid, but, but But I will say, I'm not going to attack a man's personal life no, who no. helped feed his family. For I'm not gonna help, I'm not gonna hurt the black man for 13 years of of of, of supporting his family. I'm not gonna do that to him. Thing is, not to not to defend that. Just hold on a second. Not to defend because I agree. I'm not gonna do that. But the problem is, this is celebrities. Yeah. Every celebrity guy goes through that. Like once you what you know, are none of us here are famous, right? Like let's be real. All of us are trying to become famous, not for the fame, but for the the. Comfortability of being able to pay our bills and doing what we want to do and all this. Fame's part of that. But we all, all of us sitting here realize that if we become famous, we have to deal with that. They're going to talk about us. We're going to be in the magazines. That's, We're going to be on the, on the stuff. And it comes with the job. You knew what you signed up for in 2000, 2001, whenever it was. You knew, I mean, did you know it was going to be this bad? No, but you knew it was a chance. So, honestly, they ain't taking... If, I don't know. Just I don't think everybody I think took millions out of his mouth like he said. You said what? Like, I don't think everybody took millions out of his mouth like he said. Like yeah. in a sense, but like, like I think what he's alluding at, at least with like Stephen A. Smith and all of them, like their like their job is to talk about you. So they're making you look bad in public, makes other teams not want to touch you. Maybe, but that just should be more for you to be like, all right, I need to play better. I need to get in the gym, work, whatever it is, whatever is my issue, I need to work on. Exactly, but I don't. I don't really understand fully what he's talking about with Gilbert Arenas. I feel like that was his personal thing, but I don't think he really did anything either. That was like, like I'm literally stopping you from getting paid. I don't think it was ever that. Maybe he like. I think it was like something like a tour, like he had him benched. But like that's not something you can get paid. That's not even playing. You, yeah. you, you get paid regardless. Your contract is there. You made you played for thirteen years. You made millions. Start your <laughs> you played for thirteen. Maybe years. you could have made a little extra money. Maybe, but like that doesn't mean. That's necessarily his fault. It was just because of your performance. It had nothing to do with like nobody's gonna take you out the start line if you're doing good. Unless you're just like that much of a of a hassle. But Carmen Brown was not a hassle only. Like there was really never any issues personally with Carmen Brown throughout his career. It was it was, it was until now. Yeah, no, but we didn't really I didn't even know how that nigga sounded until, I didn't, <laughs> until this all this stuff happened. I'd never heard this nigga talk before. Yeah. And that, I don't know. I agree with what you're saying. Like you can't be mad at other people. For your shortcomings, just because right. they talk about it. The funniest thing he said, I enjoyed him calling Matt not, Barnes Becky with the good hair. I enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah, but he, <laughs> called, Becky, he called uh, Stephen A. Jackson the fake Black Lives activist, the Black Lives Matter activist. Mm-hmm. No, but no, no, but the funny thing is, when he was talking about Kobe, he said, he said, "Hey man, me, me, <laughs> me and Kobe combined for eighty-two yeah. points." Thing, <laughs> the nigga, had, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga had eighty-one. Nigga, nigga, <laughs> but. Like, 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 you tripping. I understand that, but they was, he, he, but he was wrong in that too because Stephen A. brought it up. He was like, he's like, he's like, you actually had four points that game. So you fought for 85. He was like, he's like, can't get your own facts straight. I was like, babe. Like, you, know, like, like, you can't be doing this shit with these people, bro. He like, this is like, you know, like, here's, here's the problem. Here's the problem with this situation. All these other people are going to use logic in this situation. Yeah. And Kwame's using emotion. Yeah. Why do you beat emotion every time? Because no, he can't. He, how are you gonna use emotion? You didn't do shit. The only thing you did was lock up Shaq and, and when, like. That's what I'm saying. So stop, stop. Turn, turn the camera off. That's all I'm saying. Call me. Stop this. Stop it. I'm Get some help. Stop making the video with that hot ass car. I, 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 I think it was good at first, but I, I think it should slow down now. I agree. The first, the first video. I think you got this point across, but now, like, I feel like the, the longer you go, it, you're it, it, reaching it might, for attention. Yeah, like it, it's, it's going to reach for something. You're, you're doing what for you or for them, something bad's going to happen. But either way, I feel like you you want drunk. Yes, I'm thinking. <laughs> you want drunk every time. You sound like a drunk uncle in the video. I thought this is always how he sounds. You, you said. Country. You said <laughs> he couldn't be drunk all the time. Like <laughs> we both know. I mean, he could, could be, be, but I don't think he was. I don't think he was drunk every single one of the times. How many videos he dropped? A lot. <laughs> he dropped a lot. A lot. How many videos you dropped? To me, by dropping all these videos, you're doing the same thing you're claiming they should not be doing. You're trying to make it about you. Make it make yourself relevant again. Make it about your personal life. Exactly. You're you're making this... You're making this... You know that you're going to end up getting some kind of exposure off of this, as you are but currently. He's fighting niggas. Right? Yeah, but... He's so much on fight, nigga. That's how you know you heard. You trying to fight, nigga. I mean, he said, like, come and see. He said, Stephen A., come to Seattle. We're going to talk this shit. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that say they want to fight. 
He felt attacked. I feel like you know. Speaking of people that want to fight, uh, <laughs> Jake Paul in the game. So the game uh, tweeted at Jake Paul. <sighs> Clouds out of the dress. He said, "He said you're at Jake Paul at Logan Paul. Meet me at meet me and my little brother downtown LA in front of Staples Center. Let's just fight. Heads up, fades. No gloves, no money needed. Just on some me and my brother will fuck you and your brother up shit. The game? Yeah. Why did he add him to say that? You know the game. The game's the biggest. Biggest. Yeah, he didn't I, want I, to I do know something. he is, but like, nigga, why? Like, it's got nothing to do with you. And then Jake Paul said, hate it or love it, you will get, the, you will get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I'd laugh my ass off Jake Paul knocked him the fuck out. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you some real stuff. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, y'all ain't no hood niggas. No, like, no, 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 wait, 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 this is why I say that. You ain't no hood nigga that like that. If a nigga say, meet me at this spot, and we go fight heads up. Don't meet that nigga at that spot. You're gonna get jumped. <laughs> You're not making it out that fight. Jumped or shot or a, shot. It's not gonna be a stand up fight. Like, it's not a boxing fight like you think it is. You know, not gonna. These are bloods. Nigga. You gonna go in there? You gonna go, you gonna get jumped by like thirty of them? Like don't don't do that. Or beyond that, like I said, it goes beyond. It's not gonna be boxing. Like 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 you do decent at. It. Keep it on trailer. I'm gonna say keep keep it on trailer. <laughs> just, just don't like, do this. Like, 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 random, show that like random celebrities. Yeah. Like nigga, this this is random nigga. You're probably, like this. It's not not a celebrity anymore. Yeah, that nigga said meet me in front of the table. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not There's a difference between Ben Askren and Nate Robinson in the, the game. game. Yeah. yeah. Even Floyd. That nigga said meet me in front of the table. Son, don't do that. In front. Don't do that. I don't like Jake Paul, Logan Paul, but don't do that. I'm just trying to save you. Don't do that. You probably don't watch this show. I was going to say, they're, they're going to tweet you later. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> they're going to say, yeah, you probably don't watch this show. I was thinking show. about it. But don't do that. <laughs> Next one is, uh, speaking of other verses, Bow Wow versus Romeo. Stop this. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about this. So. Is that official? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Not anymore. Like, it was. Romeo just kept calling out Bow Wow. And Bow Wow was like, I would destroy you. Like, and we. And that Romeo was really don't have this. Rightfully so, he would. Like, <laughs> Bow Wow's killing him. But now it's going to be um, Bow Wow versus um, Soulja Boy. That makes sense. Yeah. And even then, Who do you think's going to win, though? Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy. I was about to say, because that's, I think. It's not going it to I think it could go yeah. either way. I think it, I'm going to give it. What's it? It's out of 20. Yeah, it's, 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 it's about 20. Was, I'm going to say 14 6. Soulja Boy. 13 7. I don't know. But I also thought I thought Jeezy was gonna have Gucci. And I ended up that shit ended up being that, that draw. Yeah, it wasn't draw to me. Jeezy got that one. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. So your boy is, is going with that. The joke says that Jesus, they're Jesus. Jeezy won that one. That's fine. But um, I mean, I was I gonna say the know. the Bow Wow versus Soldier Boy one. I think that'll be. I think it's gonna be closer than than y'all think. I think it's gonna be closer than you think because you got songs like because Bow Wow got songs like Gotta Get It Out of My System. You know, you got so you got songs like that. You got let me hold you. You got. I, you got, I, 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 I believe you, I know. I ain't never had nobody. I already know. I, 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 I know he's got a lot of hits, but I know he's not gonna win that. <laughs> it's not gonna be that. But what's what, what's going to beat that though? Watch me hit my bar. Oh, no, 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 even she didn't get clap, clap. Like he, he still made that, it. That, that, was, that was too new. Like, that was too new. Kids in the phone was not that good. But was it? But uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be some of the songs. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna win. I don't know. It's I'll, gonna I'll, win. I'll, I'll put Kiss Me on. If, if he put some of the songs, basketball is my favorite. He was about to pull that out. That's gonna be another one. If that goes against Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy's still gonna win. Like, like if that goes against Crank That Soldier Boy, Crank That Soldier Boy's gonna win. Yeah, Crank That Soldier Boy. It, 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 I think it depends. On, for for to me, it depends on the order. Depends on the order. Kind of, but not really. Like he still has more. I think Soldier Boy just has more hits. He, he does just fly out, star. and he's featuring a sense of like he can even play nigga. We made it. Nigga, we made is gonna be hard to beat. I will, I do agree on that. But there's a few of them where the few of them like, he has that, is like that lot. aren't gonna that aren't gonna be certain ones. Bow was gonna have because Bow sure. Bow was one of the people like he he's up there. I think he's number three for like for for, for when it comes to hits. Something like like he has a lot of hits. There's like a record he broke. I ain't being such a boy. Man. But it's gonna be. But I'm saying that's gonna be a good one though. I know, I know this one I'm not even naming or thinking of. And I'm not even, and I'm not even not bring, pretty boy swag. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not even bringing up Lil Bow Wow. This is just later Bow Wow. I know. Still though. I mean, Believe me, I'm factoring in both and it's not that close. He's not going to do this. Stop this. <laughs> this is, I think, I, I, stop I, it. I think it's going to be, it's going to be close. And, and that's not even including remixes either. Because Bow Wow's going to how do you get remixes? Same with Social Boy. It like I said, it depends on the time. Well, Kenny's rooting for Bow Wow. 
I'm not uh, actually. I'm not rooting for. I'm, not, I'm really for rooting for Soldier Boy. But I'm just saying. I think it's gonna be closer than y'all think. Is what I'm saying. Mm. Wait, wait. What's your What's the prediction? I gave mine. I said four, I, I six, thirteen, seven, right around there. I'm a, I'm with you on that. I might go twelve. I might go twelve, eight, maybe. <laughs> he arguing for one song. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I, I said. You said it's gonna be closer than y'all say. I said thirteen seven. You said twelve eight. No, no, I'm saying no, no, no. I'm saying twelve. I'm, I'm saying twelve. I'm saying twelve eight. Maybe even eleven nine. Okay. I was, saying, like, I was getting to that. You ready to rub me? Let's say yeah, but twelve eight. Maybe eleven nine. I was gonna say it's. I feel like it's gonna be closer than than we think. Mm. Such so was definitely winning that regardless. Uh, regardless of how you rank it, such so was winning that. <laughs> But, but, but like I said, I'm sure with Soulja Boy, but, I think, but I think it's going to be closer. I think I think Soulja Boy does win. I think it's going to be closer. It's, it just goes along with everything. Like, Bow Wow was like, how was it early? Or, I'm going to say not early. Really. Was it mid or late 90s when he came in? Who? Bow Wow. Bow Wow came out when he was three. When he, like, he got noticed when he was three. Snoop Dogg noticed him at three and, start, and started getting him in the studio. When he started having hits, hits. Like, what was That's what I'm saying. I what, think what he was, was like eight or nine. But when, what yeah, like, 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 time frame? Like, like, yeah. 90s? That, that, that would be 90s. Okay. I'm looking at Bow Wow, like. It was, I would say like 90, 97, 98. Well, even if like it wasn't even like a full decade later when niggas stopped fucking with him. <laughs> nah, niggas, no, niggas was cool. Niggas was cool with him. It was when the, it was when he it started was, hosting one hundred and six Park. That was when he started. That was when his fall off declined. It was around that time. It said but he wasn't a big. He was not a big said, rapper at that point. Two thousand. It said two thousand was his first one. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That, that's, that's good. He got discovered by Snoop Dogg in the late nineties. Yeah, as I said, I was like in the late nineties. Yeah, um, it's so a, he didn't get discovered at three. No, he was a three years old doing so the talent listen, show. Listen, listen, his first, his first at the age of thirteen album in two thousand was released at the age of thirteen in two thousand. He didn't get discovered by Snoop until the late nineties. There's people three been, years old doing that. Stuff. Okay, well then he didn't get discovered. Well, was, that's what I'm saying. You said Snoop discovered him at three. I, mean, I thought he was discovered at three. They got they, they got videos in the young age. I mean, even if he, he had hits, then I'm saying because it was two thousand to like not even two thousand ten. So his run wasn't that long. So he has been out since like 2000, like what? Nine? No, he was in the MySpace era. He was, he was like 2004, 2005. Because uh, I, I, I was in Soulja Boy. Like I, would say, I would say 05, 06. Let me see. Soulja Boy. So that all, all the way up until now. He's been making hits up and all the way. Nah, they, 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 don't, don't, don't say all the way up until now. Because he had a long period where he wasn't, wasn't he did, relevant. But, but he still had hits. Like it, was, it just wasn't big ones. It wasn't Crank That Soulja Boy again. But he still had 2007. Yeah. Like, I mean, we were close. We were yeah, close. I was. I remember it was during the MySpace era. But he, he hasn't, he hasn't done nothing since 2015. That's what I'm saying. I was like, no albums. Oh yeah, you're right. But he right. he still had like songs. All right, singles, crank that. I was looking at the list. Yeah, donk, kiss me through the phone, turn my swag on, pretty boy swag. Um, shit, there's just so many here. There's a lot. Oh, he has been dropping songs though. Like I'm saying, that happened. Like, with, with my wrist is on there. Cause I, I saw that on there. I was just looking at that. Was with my wrist the hit, or was it just the hit to us? Because I mean, because I mean, I mean, we played, I mean, we played we a lot, but, it was it was on that list. but but I don't. Was that like a hit? Hit? It was on that list. What was it again? With my wrist. I never heard that song outside of when I found it. Yeah, I don't know. I was. I never heard it on the radio. Like probably that. on the beat. But like I said, he still has the song. Is hard. I ain't something like, the song is hard. I just don't think that was a hit. I don't think it was hitting like that. Like I said, I'm mean, either way. He's still. Hard he still somebody even on there. He even having that will have something good. Start well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like that. Is Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Because they only had, they only had two songs together. What was the one? It was Marco Polo and um, something else. Oh, yeah, they had another song together. I don't know. Like I, 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 I said, I was a damn. Oh yeah, so there's Marco Polo. It was Check. That was the one. I knew. I knew the notes. I knew they had a second one. It was called Check. And then we got um. Let me see. Let me pull up Bow Wow's top. Bow Wow music. Bow Wow music. Let me hold you, shorty like mine. Out of my system, fresh as I'm is. Basketball like you. That's my name. Bounce with me. You can get it all. Take you home. Puppy love ain't thinking about you. Thank you, girlfriend, my baby. Marco Polo, let's get down. Rock the mic. Better ghetto girls. For my hood, big girls. Uh, to my mama. Hey baby, I'm a flirt. Listen, yeah, the dog in me, the Don the Dutch, he ain't gotta know. See, I think I like 13 and 7. Because I honestly like 7 of those even if. That's what I'm saying. I'm still, I'm, I'm at 13 and 7. Yeah, I'm, I'm not changing it. I'm gonna say, Bob Bar Bar got some hits. He got a lot of hits. 
And it's different too. Like it's hard well, to put like it's hard to like take it home versus don't. Like it's like a, such an innocent kid song. Little bow wow, you just and then like her booty got swag. So that's what like, I know. That, but I'm saying we're we're comparing. I mean, well, the thing about Bawa is you're, you're you're talking about the first half of his career when he was no, little. I'm, I'm he was a kid. So he, no, no, I'm just saying we can't do that. That's not fair in that part because the fact that you don't think he's gonna play any little Bow Wow songs. He is, of course. Well, of course, he's gonna compare. No, no, I'm saying, but it depends on the order though, because like if. How we, how we did when we did ours with Future vs. Travis Scott, like there's certain times where it was like, ah, oh, say it was kind of hard to choose who won that round because of that part. But, but, but like I said, there were still early things where he was talking about trying to get at a, get at a girl, but it was innocent. But where, so you can compare it to, so if he did ghetto girls, he can do ghetto girls against, you know, kiss me through the phone. He can do that. Yeah, but he but, can't, he but can't if he does don't, if he does don't, he can do a later Bow Wow song. When but he's but doing here's the thing, here's the thing. Don't they come in with verses? Don't they come in with a set list already ready for the DJ? Um, I don't know how that works. That's, I don't, I don't that's how that. that's how I've always looked at it. Because they're, they're not picking the song on the fly. The DJ just plays the song. So they've already picked their, their set list. I'm assuming, like I said, I don't know. I'm saying, I don't know if they come in like, hey, this is going to be the first, it's going to be the second. Or if the DJ is like, hey, this, this is going to be the slow round. It's going to be this. So I don't know how they're doing it exactly. So I don't know who's in charge of that. Okay, yeah, but I'm saying point. this is the no none of us know unless you're Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But but I'm saying in my the way I visually every one I've watched. They come in with twenty. Yeah, they, they just walk doing? in with twenty. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, this is this is my twenty. Do it. This is the order. This is my twenty. This is the order. No matter how they arrange it, it's still got twenty. I feel like twenty versus twenty is gonna be even twenty. I agree. I even, even I think I think at I, best I, I, you're getting twelve eight. Because even if like even even if you put Chris Brown's older songs when he was a kid, it just it's still Chris Brown. Like it's like it's like it's still bangers. Like Lil Bow, it's hard to put Lil like Lil Bow had had this song when he was younger. Yeah, but I like, agree. It's hard I agree with you on that. But but the thing was, it's one of those things where because how old was Chris Brown when he came out? Sixteen. Like, Sixteen. That's only three years difference. It's not. No, I know that. But I'm saying, but it was the way they sold him. Like where you got like him and you got Jay Holiday who were 15, 16, and they were talking about just want a quickie and all stuff like that. Like they were promoted a different way. Whereas Bow Wow, Bow Wow was. Playing as like you know, so he came out yeah, as a kid. A, it's just a different era, yeah. I guess. But yeah, you, you know, no, no, I'm, I'm just saying that's I'm saying that's where that's where the differences are. Where you got someone who's rapping, he's supposed to rap as a kid, he's supposed to be innocent. Where Chris Brown, the old boy, was talking about, I just want a quickie and you know, birthday sex, shit like that. But the, the, I don't, I'm confused about what we're arguing because like no, no, I'm saying you I'm, still I'm, lose. That's the, that's the point. But, <laughs> no, I'm saying, no, no, there, no, I'm saying, no. There's people out there that think Bob was going to wash Soldier Boy. There's there's people that think that. Well, that's not us. We don't think that. I'm just not, I'm, I'm just arguing for both sides. I'm like, yeah. I'm, 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 I, I'm I, playing devil's advocate, but like, you're, sides, but the, the marketing right. thing didn't really make sense because the songs are the songs. Whether that doesn't matter, those are the songs he has. You can't go back and change that. So, however he was marketed back then doesn't matter because he's still yeah. getting, he's getting beat. And I'm also thinking of just the music in general. I personally think, like, let's say, let me hold you. And I, don't want I think that was a better. I, th- a, I, think, better I think the songs artist. are better. I think he's a more quality artist, but that really don't matter. It just hits when it hits. Yeah, it's just who has a bigger hit. And because like, yeah, I mean, you got. I feel like it's one of those things where like, there's certain people like, 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 like how we we did like when we battle each other, like say, like, like, like there's certain few songs of like it's not going to get beat. Certain, 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 certain Travis Scott songs. I think when when he plays too. "Let Me Hold You," I think that's going to be one of those haymaker, a haymaker round. Maybe. It, it I think it I think that's going to be a haymaker round. Same with uh, "Out of My System" is another haymaker one, and then "Versus I'm Is." I don't know. It's gonna be, there's going to be some rough ones though. I was I like, think, a lot of these and I think Crank Soulja Boy songs, be, yeah, what's that? Like, like Crank That. Dirty. Um, and in my opinion, I think um, Turn My Swag On won't be a haymaker. Even though, even though I mess with the song, I don't think that's going to be the that's, one. That's, that's, that's going to be the one I'm going to do. Um, but I, I, think, I, I think Crank That is going to be nearly unbeatable. Kiss Me Through the Phone is going to be nearly unbeatable. Because Soulja Boy is like Gucci, though. Because like where like he has a whole bunch of hits, but they're not like... A lot of them aren't good hits. It's just the fact that they just... Mm. I agree, but I don't like. I don't think he's a quality artist. Is, is what I'm getting at. I don't think Soulja Boy's a quality artist. I've been said I always felt like Soulja Boy wasn't a good artist, or well, he's not a great one. He he's good because he can make hits, but I don't think he's a great artist like standalone rapper. Like that was a great rapper on top of that. Like like he can actually rap underneath all of that. Oh no, great! I, I think when it comes to the, hits, there was a period, there was a period where, is, is where when Bow Wow like chilled and he stopped like making hit hits and he just started rapping like just just started rapping like just started yeah, like, like doing remixes. No, 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 I'm talking about his hairline was jacked up, but he was doing remixes. Mm-hmm. That nigga was going crazy. Like, he was doing six foot, seven foot, hey, doing something like that. He was going crazy. You know rapper get dusty. No, yeah, he was going crazy. And I was not, and I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm a Bow Wow fan. I'm not. 
I'm not, I'm not like I said, Bound Fire or Soldier Boy fan. But I listen, but I listen to more Soldier Boy. If that makes sense, I listen to more Soldier Boy stuff. But when Bow Wow, there was like I said, that period, I want to say, I want to say 2009, like 2011, around that era. This man was dropping them remixes, and he was going crazy in there. And I'm like, okay. And then he came back, and it was like, okay. <laughs> but speaking of, uh, I don't even know what to say with this. This is just, this is wild. You ever heard of a dude called General Butt Naked? No. Yes, uh, yeah, the, the, the name is wild, but this nigga is evil. He's evil. So basically, his name is Joshua Milton Bal Balahi. Balahi. Um, born on September 30, 1971. And it's still alive. So, 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 so that's one could it's still alive. Better known by his nickname, General Butt Naked, former priest and commander in forces. He has three kids. That's wild already. Once, he has a son and two daughters, and known for his violence in the first civilian liber uh, Liberian War in the 90s. So once described as the most evil man in the world, in 2008, he said that he killed 20,000 people and carried out human sacrifice and cannibalism of children. In battle, Blah, he, he said that he led his troops naked in only sneakers and armed with a gun or machete. He believed being naked protected you from bullets. <laughs> this thing is wild. He's not wrong. He's, because alive. he's still alive. He claimed to have met Satan regularly and talked to him. And from that age of 11 to 25, he took part in monthly human sacrifices. He stated that he would regularly sacrifice small children before battles. Someone whose fresh blood would satisfy the devil. This nigga's sick. Maybe if I didn't be but naked, that's protecting me. Maybe it's the blood of children. Well, you know, look, I don't know what he's doing, but it's working. Sometimes I would enter under the water where children were playing. I would dive under the water, grab one, carry him under, and break his neck. Sometimes I caused accidents. Sometimes I just slaughtered them. He also confessed to taking part in human sacrifices, which include the killing of an innocent child and taking out the heart, which was divided into pieces for him to eat. And last, Did he fall for America? No, no, he fought in uh, um, Africa somewhere. Uh, like, but it was in Liberia, yeah. Um, he's, so before, he, and the other quote he said was, so before leading my troops into battle, we would get drunk and drugged up, sacrifice a local teenager, drink the blood, then strip down our shoes and go into battle wearing colorful wigs and carrying imaginary purses. We, lo we looted from civilians. We slaughtered anyone we saw, chopped their heads off, and used them as soccer balls. We were nude, fearless, drunk, yet strategic. We killed hundreds of people, so many I lost count. Like, this nigga is wild. Like, I, like when I saw that, I was like, this this is crazy. I'm reading about it right now. This is... Yeah. yeah general Blood Naked, yeah, that nigga's wild. He was called General Blood Naked. Apparently, he went on a 54-day fast that God told him to do. Oh, he went. He told you with God now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, he's a priest. No, so he, he, like, like, oh, so he was a priest. He, well, he, uh, he's a priest now, but he found God because God told him that he needed to do fifty-four day fast to cure, purify himself for his evils. You can plant both sides. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, gave, so hold on. They claim to have heard from God to fast fifty-four days for his deliverance. After the fast, they claim God gave them spiritual powers to infiltrate his coven in Monrovia and preach to him. Shortly after, Blight Blighty. Yeah. Claims he experienced a Tiffany in which Jesus Christ appeared to him as a blinding light, spoke to him as a son, and told him that he would die unless he repented his sins. Mm. Sheesh! <laughs> I'm say, that, nigga, that nigga's wild. I'm about to read this man's book. Oh, God. There was no <laughs> <after the> morning, <laughs> there be nothing from the author in general, but they <laughs> this, this is the longest look. This, his autobiography yeah. is called The Redemption of an African Warlord, The Joshua Blighty Story, A Modern Day Conversion from Saul to Paul. Bitch, you know that book gonna be long. The, the title long. <laughs> <laughs> look, it ain't gonna have no cover. It's gonna be a hardback red book with gold writing in no engraved into the fucking <laughs> exactly no pictures. Not, not, not even in the gloss. Through the weird ones. <laughs> just the devil on the cover. That's it. No, not even that. Was the just... devil just peeking through? Like, <laughs> like you know, on Snapchat when you be like when you post, when you text somebody, she be like, <laughs> <laughs> you should be the devil looking at. <laughs> Hey, I like it on the when we do our uh, group chats on Snapchat. So everybody's popping their breasts. Fuck you. Everybody like, goes to Kamara. Like, <laughs> like, I see you. Right there, we just like, I see you. <laughs> All right. So the next one, um, it's a story. No, no, no actually, actually, no. Go a little lighter on this. Um, Monsters Inc. series coming out soon. I saw that. Yeah, well, so they, the teaser dropped. So you're excited about that? Yeah. Is it a show? Series, series, yeah. Um, what's it gonna be about? 
monsters. Other monsters. What is it? Is it a prequel? What is it? Like, is it I don't know. It is, all, 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 all the news I got when I looked it up is that Monsters Inc. series, um, spinoff series, TV trailer to drop. Because I wonder how they're going to do it then, because like, Monsters Incorporated is kind of done for, because the only reason why they were doing it was, what's the name, was basically stealing them kids. The water news, he was basically taking yeah. the kids. Well, really, so, really so he was General Butt yeah, He was really General Butt Naked, for real. Uh, it's called Monsters at Work. Mechanic Tyler Tuskman uh, dreams of working his way up to the last floor at Monsters Inc. So it's after. Okay, so maybe somebody took it over. I don't know. He, it shows at the end that they, uh, instead of the scary guys going in, they like they switch spots and like the the goofy dudes that usually did the paperwork, they go in there and they tell jokes and stuff, make people laugh. Because laughter, oh, yeah, 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 laughter is yeah, more powerful like than screams. Yeah. Cause, yeah, yeah, because yeah, that kid laughed, because, because Boo laughed when I broke the thing. Oh, there go TK. TK is here. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got oh. to too, near the end. Well, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, next one, um, Demi Lovato announces uh, today, I can't say she, <laughs> announces I'm they are non binary and changing their pronouns to they and them. Nah. They no longer identify as male or female. Nah. <laughs> Wasn't she a crackhead or something? I think it was meth. Yeah. A meth head? Okay. Well, Some cracks a little bit. Some you might say cracks a little bit better, I think. A little bit healthier for you. Oh, was, no, no, no. I was like, crack because it might have been heroin. It might have been heroin. It was a drug. I mean, meth, heroin. Something I'm not partaking in. Yeah, whatever I'm partaking in. In a sense. Crackheads don't die, they multiply. You feel me? Crackheads are superheroes. Meth heads and. I see the same crackheads for years. Niggas still ask me for change. They almost, them niggas never die. They never got changed either. <laughs> they multiply. <laughs> right? they, they never got that change either. There's always but, um, those keys. I personally, I don't care. I don't either. That's what makes them happy. Then I don't. I don't care. If it makes you happy, but I'm not doing it on my first time meeting you. I'm not gonna like every time I meet somebody. What's your pronoun? I'm not doing. No, it. no, no, no. But so no, I think I agree with you. I agree with you. But if, like, if that's me, what you feel, it's like, like if one of y'all right now came up to me and was like, "Hey, don't call me, call this. me that," I'm gonna be like, "Okay." You still like nigga. I care for. Like <laughs> your pronoun is like, nigga to me. Okay. <laughs> 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 you still everybody. You still identify as he, she, or they. I can't like, it's, 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 it's a term on the Yeah. You gonna have a mean ass joke for somebody? <laughs> so don't act like you feel me. Yeah, don't say one of us right here going to you. Hold on, hold on, because I gotta think about that. Because like, I be trying to like sensitive shit. I be trying to let let y'all slide, but you. you know, yeah, with y'all, I'm probably gonna give y'all a joke. Yeah, you feel me? You ain't even a person, nigga. Right. <laughs> like, wow. Like, you're you're human. Human. Like, <laughs> I was trying, I was trying to do good guys. You can't try to. Like, like, all the he pronouns, all the he pronouns stand over here. <laughs> she pronouns stand over there. Ah, right. yeah. uh, you can't yeah. stand anywhere. It's the whole time just to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a terrible friend. Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> I like, I'm sorry. We all are. Yeah, that's one minute, though. That's why we friends. <laughs> I'm change and shit. Got an iPhone. You said what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you need something to record the show with. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, two Texas deputies um, were fatally shot Monday night Ooh. in a uh, central Texas town um, after a gunman barricaded himself in a building following a police chase. Oh, shit. So a man by the name of Jeffrey Nicholas uh, shot two West Texas sheriff's deputies dead and critically, yeah, he got two for his man. Um, he shot them dead and critically wounded a secu- uh, city employee answering a dog complaint. You said shot them dead. Shot, that, that, I'm reading the article. Not so <laughs> shot them dead. He said, yeah, shot them dead. <laughs> Somebody was ignoring a dog complaint. Mm. Where did this article come from? <laughs> The suspect was uh, taken into custody after Monday night's attack in Eden, um, a town with only about th- 100, or 1,300 people. Mm. Oh, that's real. That's yeah. 297 now. <laughs> 298, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Whatever, that dog complaint was such a big deal. Huh? <laughs> right. Somebody come get this dog. That was part of the, that was part of the paper. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we know all six dogs that live in the town. That's why the dog is the seventh dog. We don't know him. The dog is like, somebody getting shot dead over there. Help. Help. Somebody like. Yeah, so the suspect's taking the custody. He's been booked in the Tom Green County Jail. Tom Green. With a bond set of four million and charged with capital murder of a peace officer. Yeah. So is Jeffrey Nicholas black or white? I don't know. They didn't get to that. Yeah, I didn't even. That's probably why they got him. He probably admitted it. 
Let me look him up. Shot him dead. Shot him dead. Let me look up a picture of him. But I killed him mm. for hey, him. He, he looked like he did it. He did it. <laughs> I didn't even look. They didn't even show his picture. It just showed a grave still. I was like, that nigga shot somebody. He was shot. <laughs> he was shot. I looked at his name. It just showed a grave. Shot him. Jump on a picture of him. I'm probably gonna have a picture of him, bro. So, so the, the people watching can see it too as well. And Jeffrey Nichols had a musket. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's good and white. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. He like Bubba Sparks. <laughs> 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 Bubba Sparks. <laughs> he, he is white. white. Is he is white. That man, oh that man looked like, like, I don't know. So, so, so then what comes in the question was the deputies, you feel me? I don't know. That, yeah. that guy, that guy looked like. That's what I was gonna say. He, honestly, he looked like I'm just gonna say it. He looked like he got some white bed sheets in his house, but they're not on the bed. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, what's the question was the deputy black or white? You know, I hate to say it. Like I, don't know. I didn't know. He, he looked them up. Like, I looked at that nigga nigga's name. Look, 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 look at these, these deputies. We gotta know. Yeah, yeah. We gotta him. know. Nah, nah, you know. We already know. He shot him dead. <laughs> 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 if he just killed them, yeah, he shot him. Yeah, if it was white police, he murdered them. He murdered them. If it was niggas, he shot them dead. He shot them dead. You feel me? We already know what time it is. Oh, yeah, He's in Texas. I hate that that's the consensus we reached. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure this whole podcast is pretty good. Were you able to find out? Because I know sometimes they don't they don't release the names. Well, it's, the, it's sheriff's deputies. They're gonna. Yeah, I mean, which at the well, same time. Uh, so it? Sergeant Stephen Jones, you you start looking for that one. Stephen Jones. I thought you can find a lot of people. Is it is it S T P H Jones? Yeah, he worked for Calvin. Yeah, I, I know that already. God damn it, why is I fucking forgot what the fuck the other person's name is. Uh, I can't tell. Can't he, he's white. He's white. Mm, I, 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 I do like Samuel. Mm. Uh, shit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Samuel. Uh, shit. What is that? That's a good strong. Samuel Leonard. Samuel. Deputy Samuel Leonard. Leonard. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> that goes the way for it. No, he white too. He's white too. I looked it up. He's white. Samuel Leonard, that's well, what that I do. Be you know what, hey? It's good to be wrong sometimes. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. Wrong, wrong. I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wrong. He, got, he got a new baby, though. That sucks. Um, yeah, what's he? Yeah, that's, 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 that's picture I saw him holding the baby. Um, I don't even know how to say with his next one. Papa. Speaking of getting shot dead. No, not even that. Well, that, well uh, speaking of white people, there we go. Okay, I like that. So Popeye's restaurant forced to close after sign claims to refuse service to white people. Mm. That, Ooh. come on, there's like 12 of us that go to Popeye's anyway. Like, mm. The sign Where says, is at? <laughs> this is in uh, Missouri, oh. in, in Lake St. Louis, Missouri, the drive through there, um, unbeknownst to the business, so they didn't know. Um, <laughs> the sign says, effective... Okay, June 1st, 21st, or 2021, um, this restaurant's on a new management and will, res and will reserve the right to refuse service to white people. Oh. We apologize for any inconvenience to sign General Manager Mason. Wow. Mason? Right. You Mason. said your name. Anybody, anybody and you anybody said Mason. your position. <laughs> you General said your name position. Maybe it was like an experiment. Like, maybe it was like, <laughs> was so so I'm going to see how much I can make with just the black dollar. This nigga typed it up. I like that. <laughs> he typed it up. He says, you have any problems, ask for Mason. Okay, yeah, that's first like, last name. That's like... <laughs> so Mason. Nigga, Mason did it. <laughs> oh, Mason, no, they don't know who Mason is. But, um... It's, 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 it's just a water bottle. Oh. It looks fancy, though, doesn't it? It looks fancy. It's distinguished now. <laughs> <laughs> it's refillable, so I have to make it look pretty. But, um... Mm -hmm. You got a tap in there, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't got no more tap, though. I, 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 that's I'm solid, right? Hey, hey, the <laughs> whole spot are better than tap, though. I need to call him twice. It's cold, too. It definitely hit different. Yeah. But um, on but, that yeah. note, I mean, there's whole neighborhoods and cities that refuse other races. Exactly. So, and they make make a it, yes, it's wild. Yeah. Yes, it sucks, oh. but like, Maybe like they'll do something about it now. Like, well, maybe, they, like maybe see now that it's flipped, it's like, oh, you don't like that. No, they did something about it. The restaurant's closed. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. The everywhere. restaurant was forced to close. They don't do that everywhere. That's what I'm saying. They, maybe they should do that in other places too. Like literally, there's places in China that literally refuse black people. Restaurants. Yeah, China, that's, regular that's, stores. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can see that in China. China. This is. It, it needs to be everywhere in the world, though. I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. What are we going to do? Go bomb China? 
Well, I mean, to, to tell the story, for less. tell the yeah, story. Uh, you like right. Saint Louis <laughs> police officers were exploring the possibility that the sign could be linked to a previous. Uh, I don't even know what that word is. Speak of uh, vandalism targeting the restaurant in early May. Police said that the incident saw glass windows broken and obscene messages painting on the painted on the drive through mm. menu, though the messages were reportedly not racially offensive. I'm sure they were. No, I'm pretty sure they were. <laughs> that sounds like them cheap people again. Well, I gotta read another tweet to y'all. Um, I think it's gay for a man to order a pink lemonade. Daddy, don't feel about Oh, what? I, no, this is a dumb. Okay, hold. I don't agree with that. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> we can't do nothing as well. I've been told. I was, look, I've been told that doing certain acts with a woman is gay. I, it, it's gay to fuck bitches now. Y'all better chill. I'm gonna I'm drink my pink lemonade. I'm gonna order dessert. I'm gonna like like make lemonade. my bed, whatever the fuck else. If it is food. not two men having sex, it is not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it may be a little, zesty. maybe a little fruity, maybe a little like, uh, you, a little zesty. Yeah, you little zesty. You, you, you're getting on the edge. But that's all right. But but no, it don't make you. you, 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 you make you no sexual acts with a man, you ain't gay. Yeah. If you drink, I drink pink lemonade. Pink lemonade fire, like, like I can't drink it. I enjoy the pink lemonade with no ice. Yeah, I can't drink something good. Right there, yeah, that's that, that hits you right there like that. You can't do that. Though. I saw a post that said I saw. Um, you don't look gay with that shirt on, but you do look like. What? You like a fisherman, though. Yeah. You like you. No, I don't like no damn fisherman. You like. You like you. You like you. Thank you. Thank you. Like you filming like from, like from the seventies. You, you like, like you bait niggas. Like you niggas with the big man. I hate that. Like you know, I saw a post that said it's manly. It's manly for a female to order steak. I saw a post that said, if your baby daddy ain't shit, what made you throw in the coochie in the first place? Mm. Or, the second I place often, or the third place? I often wonder this. Not even, let, let you eat them raw. Like, I often wonder this. I, just recently, I, I met somebody no, who made that for the first time. I was like, this nigga is smack. I was like, what was she thinking? Like, <laughs> like, I was, like I, I was sitting there like, you wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, like, like, what was going on in your head? Like, but then they had a nerd to talk shit to you or something. You ain't shit. You know, like, I'm not just, I, I, I hate that shit. You ever have a girl like like you like you about to mess with or whatever? I think all these standards. Yeah, you like like you, you like, like that nigga. Like that. So I look, you I know, know. I look better than Rodney. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like you look better than these standards. I never. I don't. You got a kid by him. I can't even. I can't even. I just want to crack. Yeah, like and I was honest. Yeah, like I ain't gonna lie to you. This one said he kills every beat, every hook, and every verse. Who is he? Who do you think? Every beat, every hook, every verse. Who do you think? When they get on the track, they just kill it. I have a low key. Well, I have a couple I'm thinking. I think two chains is up there. Nope. I two chains every, every. He, 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 he nope. I don't I don't think I don't think nope. Okay, I I am gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this before we start. Nobody's there is no nobody's hundred percent shooting for the field. No, no, but nobody. Yeah, no, I agree. literally nobody. I, and, and like, I, I, but I still think Two Chains is a lot more than. A lot, okay, like, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm close, like, like, but with Two, I, two you know where I'm going. Two Chains is one of the people that when he gets on, I, I think he has the most memorable verse. It's, it's, it's very Whether true. you like it or not, he has the most memorable verse when he gets on there. He gets on, you be like, he kind of low key makes the song. In my opinion, when he gets on, you like, ah, he's right. good. Yeah. I honestly, I got Two Chains and like Rick Ross in the same same thing. Like, they're not good rappers, but they make good music. They amplify. But I'm gonna say yes. I'm but also my my vote's Drake. 
either one. Drake is a every, good every, every, every verse, every chorus. I can just club people. Like, if you, if you put Ty Dolla on and damn near any hook, the song's gonna be a hit. Yeah, but who's the nigga? I got a new grocery bag. Who's that? Got it, got it. Got him. You know what? You know what? I love it, nigga. I think the same with Travis Scott. All the Travis Scott features are good. What's the boy's name from the Lil Wayne song? The. With Bobby Valentino, he oh, can't. He can't. He can't. I was gonna say Schoolboy Q. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Uh, I, don't know. I, li- I like Snow Rodeo. Yeah, Schoolboy Q. I like Snow Rodeo, but he 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 will let me down sometimes. Uh, Kendrick too. Cool. Kendrick too. Mm. I don't. I don't. I love Kendrick, but he's had a couple misses for me. Like, I'm like, no. I couldn't do it. But you gotta remember, like I said, nobody's 100%. So, I know, let's, let's say, who has the least amount? Who has the least amount that we can least think The least amount? Of? The least amount. Because, I mean, th- nobody's Great. doing 100% of the field. Like, even, like, you know what I'm saying? Even, I'm even your goats have missed yeah. shots. Like, everybody does it. Even I, your goats I have think missed shots. Drake is close. I'll give him that. Drake is pretty close. And I'm not the biggest Drake fan. Drake's pretty close. So, it's like, even if it's not the greatest thing, it's still good enough. He's like, still like, usually better than who he's on the song with. Yeah, like, he, he still does decent enough every single time. Or damn near. So, Drake is fair. Um, I think. Well, it's every beat. Every it's hook, every, it's every, every verse. beat, every hook, Jack every Harlow. verse. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. I thought we got Jack Harlow. <laughs> I did that to piss Kenny off. <laughs> I can tell you, you did. did. <laughs> Keep that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's hard to say because like that means in every single some people are damn they're only good like if it's like like some people are only good like in features like Gunna is really good in features Ty Dolla Sounds really good in features but like I wouldn't listen to their own songs so it's like I can't really get that's it. why that's why I disqualify those people because like yeah like it's, it's hard to, to say that and, and and they're also really good on hooks but it's like like kind of like Nate Dogg like he's really good on hooks and features three, three, oh you know what. There you go, Nate Dogg. But his own, you listen to his own I, music? Oh, yeah, but the Nate Dogg. I've definitely listened to Nate Dogg. I've never heard about Nate Dogg. Nate, we said who? Andre 3000. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nate Dogg, I will go Pimp C as well. I'll fuck with Nate. I, I would say more recently, but if we go like all time, I mean, it's just it's hard to say. Like, Nate Dogg is like a good example. Nate Dogg is a good example. Nate Dogg is a good example. I like Kanye's music. Overall, I think he has way more hits than I do, but he has. A good amount of misses. Like, I feel like he has, he has a good amount. But but there's some people like 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 I said like the reason why I say Nate Dogg and Pimp Anytime they get on the track, we start like, singers too because oh we go as a lady Mary J. J. Blige. As a lady Mary J. Mary J. Blige. I I, I, I was gonna say I'm uncultured. I was uncultured. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't season right. Yeah, I wasn't. Related <laughs> to the party. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, was, I was late. Related to the party. Like, I, was, so I, I mean, I heard the songs growing up, but I but I was so into you know the crunk. Music or shit like that back then, like that, like little Johns back then, the hype music. That, I, that that I'm sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know you was out here like that. I didn't know Mary J. Blige can rap like she could and deliver. Speaking of, this is gonna sound really random, but and now, I feel like a lot of niggas start playing them later on. But Paul Wall was really good at a point in time. He was like like as far as features, that nigga was just like every time Paul Wall was on a song, he, he did good. That nigga said I, he had, I don't know if I can give it. That nigga said he had more about carrots about to buzz money's lunch. I mean, but but I was thinking about for no, but I was thinking about for twenty five years. I was just thinking about what song. I was going through Paul Wall bars. Paul Wall was going through. Paul Wall was popping. What song was there? Where it's like I couldn't deal with a Paul Wall being on it. That ain't an igloo, baby. That's my watch, baby. That ain't snow, baby. That's my chain. That's what I'm saying. Right? I think I drive slow. Drive slow. Um, still tipping. Was he in that? Yeah, that was sitting sideways. Sitting sideways, I remember that one. Like, oh, Paul says what they all know, though. He's an all right, but you said his name of Paul Wall song. So, 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 since I was, it's his song. Is this his song? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely don't remember that being his song. Who no. else was in that with him? I don't know who that nigga was. Some random prank nigga. Also, I, I will say that that's not my like. I wasn't in the crunk music and stuff like that. But so like, like just know. just like, looking at it, like the songs he was in. That was I'm like, like every song that was when, I, that I, was I, when I Texas was taking over. That, yeah. was, that was that era. We had Mike Jones, uh, yeah, I was Slim, that. Slim Thug, Paul Wall, Trey the True. I was listening to the like old school West Coast rap. Because I, I, I'm gonna say when he was in his prime. Like I'm like when it was, when, was, when, was, when it was normal Paul. to listen to Paul Wall. It's like I would. That was my favorite part of that one. Chuck up the deuce too. Don't forget yeah, Chuck up the deuce. Um. Don't stay over there with that. Luda is close. I'll give Luda a good one. Luda, Luda, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of really, really good rappers that. Mm-hmm. You know, you already know I'm gonna bust the rhymes too. Ah. I want to say bust the rhymes, but I feel like he fucked up a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I, feel yeah, I, feel like like I, I can't think. Of, I, can't, I can't think. Of you can't of think of it. But I'm like, but I didn't need. I thought he said that somewhere. Can't think of one. Redman. Redman's good. I'm going Big Sean though. 
Yeah. Big Sean is another good one. Um, Janae Aiko. For okay, sure. I'll give her that. For sure. I'll give her that. Um, she's coming in. And she's Chris still. Brown. Chris Brown, for sure. So who's number one? Oh, no, we're trying Drake, to think. I'm going to Drake, Drake and Chris Brown to me are, are, are the top two. That nigga... Yeah, it's, it's gonna be Chris Brown. That nigga really yelled at his side chick's name in the middle of the track. And everybody just fucked with it. Karuchi! <laughs> like, Karuchi! Like, like, why did you do that? <laughs> like, I know everyone in the studio was like, ah, oh, this nigga. To this day, I don't understand why you yelled your side chick's name out mid song. He's like, like, he's like, like oh, yeah, he's like, you think I'm gonna say it? That's what Karuchi, like, why? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought he was the side chick. I'm not even sure that she's the side chick. No, at the, at the time he did. I thought they were broken up at the time. I felt like no. that was after, that was post baby. He just yelled out her name. I, know, I don't think she was. I think that I was when he, that was when he was he was a side chick. Because I thought the the reason he yelled it out was just to be petty, like be like, hey bitch, you still mine. Yeah, I don't I don't know. No, that nigga. Because he, he has he has a, a strange history. If he does, look at that. That's like, what I'm saying. Right, it's, like, it's, it's, it's hard to chart. It's, it's all hey, over the place. Hey, but speaking of his strange history, history with females, hit for hit, him or, him or Rihanna. I mean, he won. Him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, who won? Who won? I'm, saying, who won? <laughs> I'm not participating. He's he's like, somebody, somebody, somebody pictures came out, and we saw who won that fight. I Chris Brown was fight from an eye. Chris Brown was fight. He said, "Hit for hit." He's an artist. Look, he said, "Hit for hit." He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. I'm like, he wanted to take. No, 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 I know, I know what he's doing. I'm gonna entertain it. I'm gonna entertain it. I think it was a knockout, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, we saw the pictures. I, what pictures are you talking about? <laughs> we saw talking about the albums? <laughs> yeah, like the album cut. Yeah, we like talking about, about the album cut. Yeah, yeah, right, right, okay. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we talking about the album. I'm not going. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. You think Chuck is still going? That's a Drake fan for you. He's a glamorous mess. I'm a, I'm oh, Eminem fan. I'ma say it. I'm put it out there. Yeah, <laughs> he she got hit. <laughs> oh, wow. She got hit. <laughs> hey, Eminem gonna do his subliminals too. Don't don't play. <laughs> All right, I got a fucked up question for y'all though. No. Speaking of speaking of hitting, um, <laughs> would you rather hit a man that was surgically turned into a woman or a woman that was surgically turned into a man? A man. Uh, you gotta honest. choose. I'll be honest. A man with that. turned into a woman. Uh, or you know what? Let me let me read. I'll be honest. Surgically, is I'm trying to hit the woman that's into a man. I'm like, you feel me? Because at the time, you made a choice. I used to work with a, with a dude that was born a woman, and mm -hmm. me and him didn't see eye to eye all the time. Like sometimes he was cool, but sometimes I didn't didn't rock with him like that. He started he started talking crazy. I said, "Hey, <laughs> so I don't really knock so you the fuck out." So you better the fuck out. <laughs> so I'm definitely going with the the woman demand because I was almost there. I feel like I feel like both is. Acceptable. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I, I'm being real with you too. I'm a bisexual. I'm an equal. I'm just feel like, I just feel like I'm talking about fucking. I wasn't talking about hitting. I was talking about fucking. I was talking about hitting. I was talking about hitting. I was talking about you hitting. <laughs> Y'all niggas was like, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm talking about some, I'm thinking well, you like, talking about some fighting, motherfucker. We talking about some fighting and shit. You didn't say speaking of fighting. <laughs> right. I said not speaking of hitting. Speaking oh, of hitting. Nah. <laughs> In that situation. Either way, I never said fighting. I'm like, y'all didn't say fighting. Y'all didn't say fighting. What was your man? We all, we all said fighting. Like, was like, yeah, we was all on the same. That was over here with me. Like, oh, man. So, so now y'all talking about fighting. Oh, I thought we were talking about music. Yeah, fuck y'all. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, fuck y'all. See, I'm you switch up. I'm just going to bring that back. Yeah, yeah, that that that's that's like, like, hey, that's shit. That's all I'm saying. Hey, that's an Eminem fan for you. Gaslight. You see? Speaking of, I'm still hitting the Viva that turns on there. I'm just going to start. Not so easy. Yeah, with these hands. <laughs> yeah, being a female ain't easy. You get identify. hit in the face. This is what you identify as. <laughs> Yo, like, like, neither is I forget. Meet me in Seattle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we talked about that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's getting to that point in the show. We are in the nastiness portion. Oh, the fetishes. The fetishes. What do you think a procrophilia is? Ooh, a procro. Pro Ooh. A proctophilia. The thing is, these like, words like, are like scientist words. Same, I don't know. Like, like proctophilia. proctophilia. Is it with an A or like just with proctor? With an E. Proctophilia. Oh, okay. Proctophilia. Okay. Proctophilia. Okay. proctophilia. I think that makes it different. Or it could be proctophilia. Is it? Is it? That's why I said proctophilia. It's just E P I R O C H C T O P. I think you were saying proctophilia. Proctophilia. 
Proctophilia. Do proctophilia. I think it has something to do with dinosaurs. No. I think it has to do with doorknobs. No. It was a and, and the weird thing about this, I, I can't even give you a hint. Okay. I can't even I give you a hint. It don't got nothing to do with needles, like poking or nothing. Nope. It's good though. I like that. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it the the, that's the good is thing it, about the show. They can say anything they want, and they'd be like, it's, it's not, nothing stupid hey. because people got weird. Uh, is it the arousal problems? for taking tests? Some of mad. Okay, no, I'm not mad. You you was on the same way. Attraction to farts. Yeah. Oh, wow. Bitch. <laughs> what y'all what y'all doing in bitch life? Oh, I'm never gonna guess that. Part of my face is what? That. <laughs> you gonna do it? Some you gonna I do it? No, no. For <laughs> some reason I smelt that. You said. What? What about y'all? Y'all doing it? Is it warm? So I don't like when niggas fart around me. I'm like, get that bullshit. No, no, no. The girl said the girl wants you to fart in her face and then fuck her. I fart in her face. <laughs> I ain't gonna kiss her like that for her. Mm, I'm trying to fart my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know, I was like, that's a bad loaded baked potato for the kid. It's loaded. Oh, that's sour cream. Cheese. Good ass food. All that dairy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sour cream. Cheese. Good ass food. All that dairy. Yeah. Cheese, man. I gotta wrestle the farts. Stop shit. Cheese, man. I'm like, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> that's the other guy. Like, oh. You should ask me sooner. Oh, so my shit ain't good enough. Don't catch it up to me. You should ask me sooner. <laughs> Fuck, it's a gas bubble. Mm. I should ask before I made that big zitty earlier. <laughs> that big zitty. <laughs> you go back to making this cold slow. Like, yeah. <laughs> Next one is. Uh, <laughs> Let me start these greens up on the other subject. <laughs> Why is on the stove? <laughs> Hot ass greens. We got food <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. Right I think you had that corned beef ass. <laughs> 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 and it's keto for a cave. Now, next one is uh, trichophilia. Trichophilia? Trichophilia. Trico. There's definitely a root word there. I just don't know. Trichophilia. Trico. Uh, I'm real over here. Nope. Oh, you just, just being a nigga at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that's just regular life. Yeah, just, that's just trichophilia. Trichophilia. Um, Rounds over spiders. Nope. No, that'd be a rack man. Racophilia. I know, but I'm still gonna go for it. <laughs> Trichophilia, the, the arousal of beetles. Beetle. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> the arousal the yellow of tractors. Summer, you so like having sex on tractors. No, I meant. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said tractors. You like having sex on tractors. Nah. I was, I was thinking that way because I, I don't uh, have tractors. The, the arousal Trico, to, Trico. to the, the arousal to tricycles. <laughs> No. <laughs> the rounds of the trichophilia. I think it's three of anything, honestly. Is it three of something? It's not three of anything. Trico. Trico. Trichophilia. The arousal. The arousal to throats. Ooh. No. Next. Also just nigga there. I like throats. Yeah, I'm going to say that's niggas. 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 That's a good old throat, too. <laughs> arousal. Arousal. Arousal from hair. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I mean. So, like, when I say arousal from hair, like, is it like hairy niggas? That's my like, question. That's, it's got to be, because, like, yeah, it's like, like you ain't like I'm sure every one of us looked at the bitch and be like, damn, her hair, her hair looks good right now. Like, you feel like, yeah, 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 I was like, maybe yeah, I got this. Yeah, like, like, it's like, all good. But I'm like, it might just be hairy. Yeah. Niggas, or yeah, vanilla. Like, it might do like hairy armpits so or something like that though. Like they, I feel like theirs doesn't stop. Yeah, the yeah. smell like vanilla and strawberries at the same time. I said, oh. It was like this. Yeah, it was yeah, like this. You know what? I took a bite. I took a bite. Yeah, you said if you don't go to cold school. All those flavors. Got a Neapolitan bitch. She wants brown skin too. I already do. Smell like oh yeah. She said yeah. Keep fucking with that. Yeah. You know what I like. You know what I like. I said. Let me give you what you want. Uh, if I get a nipple? Like, mm, that's good. That's good. That's good right there. <laughs> that's good. Mm. <laughs> this nigga Chad really got hungry sitting there licking them girl. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh, I've been done with a girl like that. Crazy. That's like you know, it. It did. It did. It did. I already know. Stop fucking with got something to eat. I'll be right back. Nigga went over there full and left empty. <laughs> 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 Walking that house heavy. Like a Lower fuck out. <laughs> no. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> I got this that. Go ahead, keep that thing tight. Mm, now you can't smell it after the damn uh after the poop what was it? the proctophilia. You don't want to smell that. Oh no yeah, more. yeah, yeah. If it's if it's stinking. Mm -hmm. 
Wink at you, it's gonna stink at you. <laughs> <laughs>